Hi. Hello. Um, my name is Sasha Kurmas, and I'm an artist from, from Kiev, from Ukraine. Thanks to CAC Art Links team for inviting me to this stage, and thank you for everybody who come to this art center. So I would like to present you um, one piece. This one. Uh, that was done in Kiev seven years ago. So in 2012, through a corruption scam, uh, a Cyprus-based company, Afidreco Holdings, appropriated Hostin and Vir, a huge neoclassical building and the nearby public space around the city in the historical part of the city. So doing so with intention to turn it into another slick shopping mall. In the past, Hostin and Vir has played host to public libraries, theaters, small shops, chips cafe, and common space shared by students, artists, writers, and intellectuals. When illegal privatization ran too far and the brutal reconstruction of the building started, a group of activists asked me to help them create some visual work in public space that can attract the public attention to this issue. So we decided um, to paint the red line around the perimeter of the building. Also, we glued posters with information about the planet destruction of the historical monument. The courtyard was occupied by activists, and for a few months, it has become a platform for a social experiment. It was a squad and art space. It was community center, and it was civil protest at the same time. A new community around Hostinny Turn it, tur turn it into honey pie for right-wing leaders. Unlike the regular protesters, young right-wing activists were trying to convert this successful grassroots protest into symbolical and political capital for their new and quickly expanding party. The participation of right-wing activists split the community and community of Hostin and Vir, community of protesters, and many protesters left the courtyard. The developer uses moment and with the help of paramilitary guards, the rest of protesters were kicked out of Hostinny. A green construction fence has grown around the perimeter, retracing the same path as the red line took before. The story of Hostinny is about polyphony of urban voices. Also, it's a good example that the protest doesn't always win, even using art and culture for that. So the activists lost the battle and lost the building, but the war is still going on. Thank you very much. <laughs>